So what's going on guys, Box here and welcome back to some more of the World Superbike mod for MotoGP20 on the PC. If you haven't seen this mod before then we've done about three races before on it and it basically adds in the World Superbike season and replaces the MotoGP, MotoGP series on the MotoGP20 game and you can only get it on PC as well. So go down it from Race Department if you like what you see. But for now we're going to get into a brand new race, we're going to head to Mugello and we're going to do it as the Turk on the Yamaha, and that is Raz Gatliaglu, Raz Gatliaglu, Raz Gatliaglu, there you go, <laughs> managed to get there in the end, the number 54, let's go and do it, um, at Mugello, so then, it is Jonathan Ray on pole position, going to be starting from the front of the ro front row on the Kawasaki, I'm going to go for a medium front and a medium rear tyre. Um, I think that should do us nicely, to be honest. Full tank of fuel. Alex Lowe's P2. And then Ronaldi, P13. So let's go racing then. Medium front, medium rear. What's everyone else gone for? Quite a few hard rears. I was worried about that, but reassuring our teammates also got our medium rear in. Scott Redden as well. But I don't think... I didn't feel like a hard rear tyre would have been too hard. You'd have been able to push it probably a little bit more, but um, I'd probably need that softer compound. Give us a little bit more grip early on coming from the back of the grid, but let's see how we go then. Palmer 2 for the launch. First time on the Yamaha. R1. Let's go. Right, tucked in behind the satellite Honda here. I'm going to come flying up the inside at turn number one. Try to pick up a few positions. Ooh, ooh, find the gap. <laughs> it's worth a try, eh? Let's try that again, shall we? Do it a bit, a bit more cautious into turn number one, maybe. Um, let's see. Take two. <laughs> Lights are out then. Let's see if we get ourselves a better launch as well. A little bit better, to be honest. Tucked right in the slipstream here. Going to take it down to Palmo 1. Whoa, everyone's sort of going crazy into turn number 1 a little bit. Take a nice tight line around there. The Yamaha holds its own into these sort of tight, almost like long spread chicane things. Out of turn 3, we're going to be on the outside here. Lots of riders on our inside. Oh, it's all very tight. It's a turn four. Whoa! Contact with the Honda as he flicks the bike over. Still in stone dead last, pretty much. Not able to make the jump like we can on the GP bikes. On the GP bikes, we really do launch off of the, the back row and make our way up through the grip. But these super bikes are a lot tighter, I think, in terms of performance. Me and the guys at the back aren't too off the front runners in terms of performance. But here we go then. Into a tricky old turn 10. Oh! I've taken out the satellite Yamaha. <laughs> Jeez. So P14 then. Let's carry on. Ronaldi's next. Satellite Ducati there. Tom Sykes as well on the BMW. Bit wide on the entry to 13. Hook it up nicely on the exit of 14. Whoa. Pretty close to the back of the BMW there. Around the final corner. Palmo 2 ready. Whoa! I think we clipped his rear tyre a little bit. Slipstream of Rinaldi. Look at this. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Such a powerful slipstream down here at Mugello. Break in now for turn number one, getting a little bit sideways. We managed to get it all slowed down. And now let's fight into the top ten. See if we can do a bit better than last time when we did with Bautista. If you missed it, go check it out. But we struggled in the mid-race just to try and get some overtakes in there. So I don't want to make that same mistake. Raz Gatliaglu. Let's go! Where are you? I'm on this side, mate. Bautista then, P8. On that new Honda. Let's see where we can get him. The first Arabata. 
into the second one at turn nine. Ugh. Maybe a hard road that would have been favourable. It's turn ten. Round eleven. Maybe at the chicane. If we get the entry for thirteen right. Maybe we can get Bautista on the exit for 14. Let's give it a go, shall we? Into 13. Flick it over. Into 14. All over the back of him. Into the final corner, trying to get our nose, but he's just too good on the brakes there. Around turn 15. Got some Palmo 2 again. I'm going to use it. I want to get past Bautista on the Honda. Ray with a 47.2. I've gone much quicker than that. We could we could potentially get a podium if we've got this much pace in the bag. Look at that. Oh, well over half a second underneath of Ray's time. Right then. Job done on Bautista. Everyone's bunched up here pretty close. So if we can carve our way through and get the overtakes pretty quick, we could do a Marquez style at a ref the opening round of the MotoGP this season when he just carved his way back up to the front after falling off. He had so much pace in the bag. Let's see what we can do. Got to manage the rear tyre though. Starting to overheat a little bit. But it's given us that grip early on I think to try and make our way through the order. So... Should be alright to be honest. Round turn nine. Ooh, into turn. Yeah, job done. Nicely done. Block him off there. Oh, run it wide at 11. It's going to get us back if we're not careful. Bit of power mode too to fend off the Ducati. Round turn 12. Our teammates next, Vandermark. Whoa! Ducati in the side of us. Got a Panigale shaped dent at the, f at the side of our bike there Palmo 2 again we're going to use it down this front straight we need to close this gap to Vandermark a little bit that shunt from the guy behind into that chicane has cost us it's cost him as well he's got Bautista behind him but here we go then blast for the line I think it was a 46.5 our previous lap time 47.2 which matches the front runners this time round breaking then into turn number 1 get it all slowed down nicely back on the power short shifted there on the exit just to try and manage the rear traction keep some tyre life in the rear tyre if possible it's just hot at the minute it's not wearing too bad it's just hot makes it quite difficult to get the power down if it's all spongy and hot and you know not got the grip through the chicane can't really do much there just took a lot of inside curb on the exit Got two laps to go after this one. Let's see if we can get Vandermark into the first corner. Try and break into the top five, get past Lowe's as well. That's going to be tricky on the Kawasaki. That was a quick bike. Here we go. Yes, past Vandermark. Did he lift off slightly there? I don't know. Two laps to go. 46 2. Wow, that was quick. On the brakes then. Bit bumpy on the curbs. Here we go then, Alex Lowe's. Into turn two. Round three. Maybe we can get him in. Oh no, a little, a little bit of a poor exit there. Into turn four. Pushing him a little bit through there. We've gone the flick over. We lost a lot of time. Drop it down into the hill. Turn six. Just got the mean green machine in my way. Here we go. Could try and line them up for turn 10 at the inside. Oh, 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 that was aggressive. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that there. There we go. Doesn't matter. We're trying to create excitement, trying to blast our way through the order, but we're past lows now. Chaz Davies next. On a Ducati, and then Redden on a Ducati, then Haslam, and then Ray. We've only got one more lap after this one to go. 
through 13, through 14, Palmo 2, the right hand side of the rear tyre has had it, I can feel the front wanting to fold then, let's go then, one more lap, maybe we can get past Davies, that'd be good. 46.2 was the previous lap time, 46.5, so very much on the pace still. Round turn three. Take a nice line through there, see if we can get Chaz Davies early on. And then potentially get Red in. Come on, let's aim for the stars. They're all bunched together quite closely, getting underneath at turn five. That was beautiful. That's the best line I've taken through there so far today. Down at turn six, a little bit wide there. Oh, ho, ho, contact with... Redden did not mean to do that. Come on. Round turn eight. Got loads of grip in the front tyre. It's just the rear tyre. Oh! A little bit wide there. That'll cost us. That might cost us the podium. That little mistake there. Look at the rear tyre. <laughs> Chaz David trying to come back at us. Come on, hook it up, now the front end starts to grip, let's go watch the rear, round 13, flick it over 14, blast down to the final corner, it's going to be too little, too late, that mistake cost us potentially the podium, one more lap maybe would have been able to get Redham, probably to be honest, but there we go, P4 much better this time, Razgatlioglu, Razgatlioglu, <laughs> P4 then, Ray takes the win on the Kawasaki, Haslam for the Honda team and then Ducati with Scott Redden rounded off the podium, but there you have it, how many DNFs this time, so then that has been it for today's video on the World Superbike mod, I really do hope you have enjoyed this, do you want to see more from this, I don't think I'm going to do a career mode or anything, or a full season, but I'll keep doing these random races with different riders. Let me know which riders and tracks you want me to do. Of course, they have to be the tracks from the original MotoGP 20 game, as this mod only adds in the teams and the riders. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to smash the like button, share it around with your friends, and do not forget to get subscribed for plenty more bike racing content. So, for now, I will see you guys in the next one.